Anyway, you're coming with me. And so are you, because I've got level 45 Pokemon now. Uh, oh, what's, right, um, the wrong Murkrow. What's the traditional, um, Hanukkah food? Latkes. Which is? Potato pancakes. Oh, okay. Potato pancakes. Another traditional Hanukkah food is jelly donuts. Jelly, the thumb, the American jelly, right? Yes. Is there any other kind of jelly? Uh oh. Yes, because English is a highly regional language. Galactic grunts all the way up here. And I'm trying to um, figure out how what you call Jello would work with je um, donuts. It wouldn't. There are galactic grunts even all the way up here by Snowpoint City. Also, I love how I can just go straight from uh, Twinleaf Town and, and Lake Verity to Snowpoint City because of how I played this game. Hala is traditional for Sabbath and for most holidays except for Passover and Yom Kippur. Passover because it's replaced by matzah, which is unleavened cardboard, and Yom Kippur because that's a fast day. Also, Snowy, I'm going to laugh at you right now. You know why I'm going to laugh at you right now? Why? Because you just lost to Commander Jupiter. <laughs> to Jupiter. And she's calling you laughably weak. Loud. What? You're too loud. Sorry. Yeah, see, Jupiter's got the right idea, though. You're never gonna become the the, <laughs> the champion at this rate. Also, why is Jupiter telling you that you should both go back to the Veilstone HQ? Jupiter, stop. I'm battling you. I don't really, um, don't really like Damn blue, it. but one thing I do like is <laughs> he did actually become the champion. I wish he would kidnap oh. Snowy and bring him to their headquarters. <laughs> that would be funny. I wish more, um, I wish more, um, rivals became the champion before the player did. I mean, most of the rivals will challenge you right before you get to challenge the Elite Four. So Blue does, but then he becomes the champion too, so you battle him then afterwards. Um, yeah, Gen 3, I mean. Wally, like um... Wally battles you. Silver battles you right before you take on the Elite Four. Um, Gen 4, Barry does. Uh, Gen 5, Charon and Bianca both do. Gen 6, I don't remember any of the frickin' rivals from Gen 6. Gen 7, I... I don't remember what the hell Howe does. In Gen 8, you, you literally battle Hop right before you battle his brother. Look at that expression on your face, by the way. I don't like that expression. Well, I, I, that expression on your face is hilarious. Gen 6 is, um, Sharon or Serena, depending on your gender. And I believe they do battle you before what? the league as well. Who were Serena? Callum. Okay. Yes, yeah, Snowy got it wrong. Also, I'm gonna oh, laugh no. at you again because Team Galactic, you couldn't. I look. I literally just beat two Team Galactic member, Galactic commanders, and you couldn't even handle one. You you go get tougher, Snowy. You really need to. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go surf on this lake. Explore the cavern and get the blizzard TM. And then, um, Gen 7. Gen 7 was how, but I don't remember much about how. No, oh, I don't remember oh, how. Oh, also, what, 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 what the hell was his name? Um, Gladion. Gladion battled you right before the Elite Four. I think Gladion is supposed to be the, um, 
blue replacement, while Hal was supposed to be the, um, you know, the friendly one. You never really had a friendly rival, though. Well, Kukui wasn't your rival. Like, finding out that Kukui was actually a trainer was sort of a big deal. Okay, I mean, technically, yeah, you should have known that he was the masked wrestler or whatever the, the whatever the hell they called him. But, um... I'm always disappointed by the fact that there's no galactic grunts or commanders. Like, you, you should have battled... You, you should have been able to battle Jupiter here. Because that means that there's only one time you get to battle Jupiter in this whole game. I think the, um... I think the best part about Gen 7 is that you actually accept the challenges as the Pokemon Champion. Yes, that's, that's an interesting thing, yes. Although you technically sort of do that in Gen 8 also. At least in Sword and Shield. It's been too long since I've played Sword and Shield. Yeah, I don't, like the, right, I don't I like the Gen 6 rivals. Uh, Technically, Barry is less antagonistic than other uh, friendly, rivals. Friendly rivals were definitely a thing in Gen 4. Um, Hardcore and Soul Silver had a friendly rival. Did they? Yeah, depending on your gender, um, the male... No, that's wrong remake. Um, uh, Ethan and... They weren't your rival. Lyra? They were not your rival. Okay, that guy says he doesn't know anything about a storage Did key. Did I get the ninth he, that guy says he doesn't know anything about a storage key. He runs away, and there's no looker to give me the storage key. So where the hell is the storage key? Oh. The guy frickin' dropped it. I liked when looker gave that to me better. Alright, well... Hey, Snowy, do me a favor real quick. As long as I don't cry, my didn't be. Go check Bulbapedia and see what Honchcrow's, uh, Murkrow and Honchcrow's level up moves are. Want to know if there's anything important that I'd be missing by evolving Murkrow now? You're asking me if I have a key. Why are you even here? And are you gonna stop me if I... Yeah. Dude, I literally just opened the door. Why are you even here? Anyway. What there's the... With your Murkrow, uh, let me see. Level 44, I believe? Yeah, 44. Okay, well, you get. You should have shoved him off the top of the Ferris wheel, DN. Would have saved us all a lot of difficulty. Tailwind at level 50. Okay, that doesn't sound important. Uh, Sucker Punch. At what level? level? 55. Okay. Level 55. Uh, torment at level 51. Okay. And that seems to be everything. What about Honchcrow? Because all out of those, the only one that I even sort of care about is Sucker Punch. Uh, well, 
helpful if you don't evolve, then you miss out on. Uh, what do I level are you? Level 44. Night Slash. When does it learn Night Slash? Uh, 55. Oh, good. And Dark Pulse at 75. Dark Pulse might actually be better. Let me actually. Let me let me actually check Dark my stats. Dark Pulse is uh, special um, AD power. Oh God! Look at that disparity. Special attack ninety eight, regular attack eighty nine. Dark Pulse is probably going to be what I go for on this thing. Anyway, of course you could learn all these moves with the uh, move we learn if you want to. I'm evolving mm -hmm. Alley Capona because it doesn't sound like there's anything worthwhile for me to wait for. And Honchkrow is just absolutely a beast. Booyah! About time. Alright. Let me sort these by number. I'll actually have to go through my TMs and see if there's anything helpful that any of my Pokémon can learn. Probably when I'm not in the middle of a the Team Galactic base. Ali Capona can learn Psychic! I just want to point that out. Shadow Ball makes sense. Fairly decent, isn't it? It is. Pino can learn Fire Blast. Yes, the Mafia Bird has arrived. The Godfather. Or the Godmother in this case. Oh, it is almost midnight, Dn. I'm sorry. Well, she's an hour ahead of me. Oh, okay. It's after midday already here. When did that happen? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna finish going through these. There you go. Anyway, Ali Capona just evolved, so. Put her on the front. And... I'm not lost. I know exactly where I am. Sometimes. No, in this case I very well know where I am. I'm in the Galactic Warehouse, and as I've previously mentioned, it's very clearly a place for kids, like a little playground. Oh, look at that. Look at that haunch crow. Look at that haunch crow. Head haunch crow. I don't have a clue where I am. Where am I? You? Well, I just saw you at Lake... Why are you using bite, you doofus? I just saw you at Lake Acuity. I you supposed to be calling people dingus. Hmm? You're supposed to be calling people dingus, isn't that the rule? I can call them whatever the heck I want to call them. Nice work, Alley Capona. Okay, now your physical attack stat is higher than your special attack stat, but it's still really close. No. Well... No. I hate... It, it's good power, but I hate relying on my opponent's attack stat. I'm not lost, and I won. Why do you assume that I'm lost? I'm in a playground for kids. What do you mean I don't know what fear is? Kids are supposed to be here. This is fun time. F f a happy fun play time, right? No. What do you mean this is not happy fun play time?
It's in a scary warehouse with people out to hurt you. Nah. Team Galactic couldn't hurt me even if they tried. Like this dingus right here. You're the first intruder we've had in our- Yes, I am an intruder. How did I get in? Intruder window. I will continue to make that joke every single time because it is funny. Why, it is? Yes. And it is also a reference. Is Swagger- they will things again? Team Galactic are the training dummies, yes. Swagger foul play is a good strategy, but I just want to use my own attack power. Venoshock. I resist that. And I'm not poisoned. Take a Thunderbolt. I'm tired of you. Sorry. Not you, the Galactic's Dust Ox. Man, Kasha is getting over-leveled. I should really swap her out of my party. Bronzor! I'll KO that with a Shadow Ball. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what fear is. What do you mean I don't know what fear is? <laughs> no, I, I literally am not... I, I'm confused as to why people are confused as to why I'm here. This this is... Um, this, is th this is a playground for kids. It very clearly is a playground for kids. I'm a lot well, yeah, but that's because you're you. Anyway, swap yeah, out oh. Tramontina, swap in Gerasace. Because I don't think Gerasace has gotten to fight since his promotion. Also, uh, where's that Earthquake TM? Oh, I also did want to swap Kasha out, just because I, I love Kasha, but... There is such a thing as too much power. Uh, who do I want? Serzaki or Dr. Eggman? Dr. Eggman. Serzaki. Dr. Eggman. Serzaki. Too late, I got Dr. Eggman. Yeah, but Dr. Eggman doesn't have a top hat and a monocle. I mean, that's fair, but Dr. Eggman doesn't need that. Dr. Eggman's got a glorious mustache. That's just scary to think about. I'll get rid of Dragon Dance. Toga Kiss with the. No, you know what? Toga Kiss with the. I'll tell you what. Explo explosive Weird. I'll also take out Pelipper, too. I should be worrying about one, but Looker should. Look. Looker totally should have gotten a, 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 a warrant. To search this premises. He, he really should have. Team Galactic was up to a lot of no good. It was easily provable. I'm not a policeman. I don't need a warrant. This, this is a citizen's arrest. <laughs> the gruntiest of the grunts. Alright, who am I putting out front? You know what? We'll put Garasace out front. Both so that it can use its new earthquake. And because, as I mentioned, Garasace hasn't had a chance to battle since his promotion. Hello, Team Galactic Goon. Who do you think you are, Desic? I'm me. And who are you? Why are you in this place? What are you doing here? What is your purpose? Hmm? 
Answer my questions. Yes, I am much better. No, it's not Grand Theft Galactic. It's Citizen's Arrest. Wait, what? I, I'm invading the Galactic Headquarters so that I can arrest them all. You know what? It's basically just a... Uh, ooh, TM-49 Scald. Can Togekiss learn that? Now there's a question. It's not what I meant. By number. No, but Serzaki can. Serzaki already knows Surf, though. I'll have to debate that. I don't think there's any good hidden items over there. Anyway, it's basically just, like, trial and error. Any two-year-old with a brain can figure this out. Alright, let me hack their computer and figure out what they're up to so that I can stop them and crash their whole network. Let me at least read their journal. No? Damn. Alright. Garrisace got to battle. So we'll put Serzaki out front. Oop, I said we'll put Serzaki out front. And Dr. Eggman in second slot. Hmm. Is this the right way or the wrong way? I don't care. I'm going to go battle that grunt. I feel like that was the right way anyway, so I didn't want to do that. Hello, Galactic Goon. Ah, you're close to getting a promotion to Commander, so are you Charon just prior to getting promoted? In either case, what? I'm... St what? Are you even paying the... I didn't get that one. You're not even paying the, the least bit of attention, are you? No, not really. I'm just trying to survive. No physical assault. Look, maybe theft, because I am taking a lot of Team Galactic stuff, including that Duskstone and the TM for Scald. But they deserve it, and they probably stole that stuff to begin with. Dust Ox. Dust Ox. I do not like Dust Ox. Kaboom. Goodbye, Dust Ox. Sir Zaki can take that out in one shot. Cascoon! Cascoon! Does this thing even know anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. Does this thing even know anything other than Harden? Technically, sh technically, Swifty, they're challenging me to a Pokemon battle. So any assault done on Pokemon is entirely their fault. They're assaulting my Pokemon and I'm defending myself. Ah, you're the gruntiest of the grunts now. Yes, the total IQ level of Team Galactic, other than Cyrus. Cyrus is incredibly intelligent. But he, he keeps this on he keeps this on purpose. Right, like Cy Cyrus is the kind of a bad guy for whom for for whom his grunts are literally tools. 
No, you're, you're, you're absolutely correct. The, the Galactic Grunts have a cumulative IQ maybe of 5. The Commanders may be slightly smarter, but not by much. And Cyrus himself is an absolute genius, plus a master manipulator. And also, like, the most sympathetic out of all of the Team Rocket villainous team commanders or, or leaders. Like, I, I completely sympathize with him. Well, why wouldn't I? He's not evil. He wants to make a better universe. By destroying the one that we're in. Well, the one that we're in Hasn't isn't great. Done that already? What? Hasn't someone done that already? That evil plot is so overdone. He does in Platinum, DN. This is not Platinum. Everything belongs to Team Galactic. Alright, Sir Zaki's battled for a little while. Dr. Eggman! Battle this guy. I smell an intruder. I smell your stunky, because I bet you that's what you have. Bronzor! Um, I'm pretty sure he just... So he loses on top of Mount Coronet, and I'm trying to remember what happens after that. I really can't. Oh, that was a critical. Kind of helpful. Oh, good. Confuse Ray. I love being confused. Let's well, Ancient Power. Assuming I don't hurt myself in confusion. Yes. Maybe I'll get the all stats up from this. Well, the question is, does he starve himself to death in the distortion world? If there's no time and no space, then he may not starve because he may not actually need to eat. Besides, he chooses to stay there. Well, Lysander trying to give himself immortality and then burying him under rocks was just funny. Alright, Earthquake. Kaboom. The satisfying thing, Swifty, was when I defeated Perugly, Mars's Perugly, with Magikarp back in the second episode of this stream series. No, it was just your Pokémon that stunk. And your training skills. We don't stink, we're on the cutting edge of, of stuff. Yes, yeah, stuff. The greatest technology in the universe is stuff. Antidote. Lysander and... and... and, um... Lysander is just... Ugh. I don't like Team Flare at all. Anyway, I gotta go get the special key now. What was Team Flare go again? Blowing up everything with the Galactic Bomb. Oh, another one that wants to blow up everything. <laughs> 